Hello once again, my name is Wilbert Wong. I am the bakery technician for Luzon of Tilmico Foods Corporation. Today's Panadhiro tip, costing your baked goods. If you're ready, let's do some math. Calculators are allowed. The most important part of our lecture today is to keep and collect your recibo from your suki. This is where we will get our basis for the prices of each ingredient used in your recipe. Next is to check for the weight of each pack. We will be computing with this as well. For Pilmico flours, all our flours are packed in 25 kg sacks. Check for our other ingredients. That's the weight of the butter, and that's the weight of the yeast, and that's the weight of the condensed milk. But how about the eggs? Eggs used in baking is almost always around 50 grams. That's medium here in the Philippines and large in the US. That's why cookbooks from the US specify their eggs as large. Always remember, Eggs are always charged as a whole, no matter if you're just using the yolk or the whites only in the recipe. I highly suggest you use a spreadsheet for this exercise. In the first column, we put the ingredient name, the second column, the purchase price, and the third column, the net weight. It is very important that you convert all the net weight to grams. Remember, 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. And 1 liter of water, is equals to 1,000 grams. As you can see in the list, all the net weights are converted to grams already. Next step is to compute for the cost per gram. The purchase price is divided by the net weight. Please check the list. So let's do the first one. The purchase price here is 800 pesos. We then divide that by 25,000 grams. We then get 0 0.032 centavos. We just repeat that with all the other ingredients. Remember, the egg is charged as one piece. At least this done, we'll then need a recipe. So let's use the recipe of my soft semada. In the first column, we list our ingredients. In the second column, our weight of ingredients in gram. We then add a third column, our cost per gram in pesos. We take this from our previous list. We then compute for the cost of ingredients used. The weight of ingredients is multiplied by the cost in grams of that ingredient to get the cost of ingredients used. Here, our weight of ingredients is 100 grams. We then multiply that with our cost per gram, which is 0.032 centavos. We then get 3 pesos and 20 centavos. We then repeat that with all the other ingredients and place them on our fifth column. We then get the sum of all the cost of the ingredients. We now have two important data that we need. The yield of the recipe and the total cost of used ingredients. We now compute for the cost per piece. The total cost of used ingredients is divided by the yield in pieces. Since we already know that the total cost of used ingredients is 43 pesos and 31 centavos, we divide that by 6 pieces and we get 7 pesos and 22 centavos. We then add 3 pesos for topping costs or a total of 10 pesos and 22 centavos. Now, how do we decide for the selling price? Yes, it's decided more than it is determined. Selling price is affected by demand, competition, location, costs, and government regulations. The way I determine my selling price is I multiply the cost per piece by 3. And since we computed 10 pesos and 22 centavos as the cost per piece of our soft enchimada, our possible selling price is now 30 pesos and 66 centavos. We then study the selling price of 30 pesos and 66 centavos for our soft enchimada and consider the demand, competition, location, costs, and government regulations. Let's assume after all considerations, we decide on the selling price of 30 pesos. To finally check for our profit per piece, we have the selling price of 30 pesos, we less the total cost per piece, the overhead which may include electricity, water, labor, and others, less also the packaging. We have a total cost of 16 pesos and 82 centavos and a remaining profit margin of 13 pesos and 18 centavos. I hope this gives you an idea on how to check if all the baking you went through is worth your time and effort. Happy baking and until our next Planet Hero tip, thank you!